this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a stunning travel website using WordPress. This video is going to demonstrate the power of WordPress when it comes to building a travel website. We'll see how we can plan trips. I'm going to show you how exactly you can create a WordPress travel website within a few clicks. That's correct. The website will be developed within a few clicks and then we are going to customize it by going to the WordPress dashboard. It's going to be fun. I'm really excited. Let's move on to our computer screen and let's get started. All right. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using local, which is a tool for spawning WordPress websites locally. If you don't know what is local, it's actually called local WP. You can install it for free and you can start by opening it and clicking on plus icon. Then you can create a new website and then I'm going to name it travel. Uh, let's call it Harry travels. Harry travels. Let's click continue preferred continue and I'm going to use a very weak password which is admin and admin just because this is my computer if you are using a serious hosting a website which is very serious and it's close to your heart and close to your business you should not use this uh, username and password combination because it's very insecure uh, anyways let's wait for it to finish it's basically spawning a WordPress website for me and in the meantime I'm going to show you the plugin that I'm going to use and the plugin is called WP travel engine yes this is the travel engine plugin that we are going to use so there are two versions of this plugin the first one is free for everyone to use and the second one is a paid plugin that we are going to talk about so let's start by creating a website using the free version of the plugin but before that I want to make sure that my WordPress website is up and running uh, local is still installing WordPress and it's done so let's click on WP admin the username is admin the password is admin yes i want it to remember me let's click on login and let's save this password and as you can see that there is no plugin installed uh, as of now so let me click on add new plugin and i'm going to search for wp travel and it is going to show me the WP travel engine plugin and I'm going to install it. Then I'm going to activate it and then I'm going to refresh this page. So three steps. Let's do all the three steps one by one. It's installing the plugin. The plugin is installed. Let's activate the plugin. The plugin is activated and now let's refresh the page and it's showing me a pop up. Let's uh, work on this pop up. Welcome to WP travel engine. Get started. I want to make sure that the base currency is US dollars. The currency symbol is dollar. I like dollar. I don't like this USD, but in case you like USD, you can go ahead and choose USD. Then what it should be a thousand separator. Let's use comma and I'm going to click continue. And no, I don't want to disable admin notification. My sales email uh, notification is going to be harry at codewithharry.com you can use any email this is going to be uh, the email where you are going to receive the notifications okay and your from email should also be the same in the idle scenario but let's click continue here the checkout page should be called checkout terms and conditions service and conditions thank you page should be this i want to make sure that all of these are default let's click on continue you can either use the paypal payment gateway or you can simply use this book now pay later i'm going to use this book now pay later so that people can book now and they can pay whenever they want uh, i mean during the uh, trip they can they can book before the trip or during the trip somehow so it's just like cash on delivery in e-commerce if that makes sense let's click continue and it's asking me to create my first trip so this is a uh, travel booking website so I should create a trip in order to make sure that customers are able to purchase the trip so let's click on uh, click here now it's uh, introducing me to the WordPress block editor let's click next 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 get started and this is going to be my trip code let me add the title of the trip let's call it Rishikesh trip and I'm going to or maybe let's call it San Francisco trip San Francisco trip so let us say I am selling trips to San Francisco and uh, I'm going to show you around the Google office the Microsoft office uh, etc et okay let's uh, let's write something about San Francisco trip I am going to show you around downtown San Francisco and we are going to go to the Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley, to the Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, 
and Oracle Office. Oracle Office. Oracle Office is amazing, by the way. Uh, let's focus on this trip. So let's uh, make sure that all of these settings are filled. We are going to start with general. So it's basically filling the trip code by default. It's asking me for duration. Let's make it 10 days and let's say 10 nights. Enable cutoff time. Cutoff time is from when onwards can people start booking this trip. So I'm going to make sure that this is not enabled. Uh, set minimum and maximum age. Going to enable minimum and maximum age required restriction for this booking this trip. Let's not do it. I'm, I'm going to pick up a date and time. I'll add a package. And the first package is tech offices. And I'm going to click on edit pricing. And let's label it as adult. Price is say 500 or say $50 per person. Let's make it $500 actually. It makes more sense. And let's save and close and let's add another package. We are going to say downtown and downtown is $500 as well for adults. Okay. And then let's save and close. Let's go to overview. Now we can have the section title as overview and let's call it. I am going to show you around San Francisco. And you can also add trip highlights, tech offices, Google, Facebook, Silicon Valley, visit, save and continue, includes, excludes, so includes slash excludes, section title, let's, let's call it food and accommodation, cost includes, title should be your food, let's add list of services food living and miscellaneous expenses and let's make sure that the spellings are correct and cost excludes let's not add what cost excludes now you can add some pictures you can also add a map you can add a map image or you can add map iframe code so i'll say san francisco and let's open it in google maps and after i open it in google maps i want to make sure that I add the iframe code of this area. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's zoom into Union Square and let's let me go to the place where I went because I know that place. Let me add a pin here and I am going to share this and I'm going to copy the iframe code, embed a map and this is the iframe code and I can paste the iframe code here. Save and continue and you can add frequently asked questions. Uh, is smoking during the trip allowed? That's a very weird question, but FAQs. So let's say trip FAQs. No, it's not. Please don't even think about it. And let's click save and continue. Extra services. Let's not add the extra services extension for now. And I'm going to publish this trip. We can view the trip, but before I view the trip, you will say that, hey, this website is not looking good. What's going on? What's up with this website? Now, there is a problem with this website and the problem is that this website is not looking good. And the reason that it is not looking good is that it is not using a better theme. It's using 2024 theme, which is not correctly, I would say, crafted for this plugin so let's do one thing if you go to your dashboard you will get this message which says you are just one step away complete wp travel engine activation now so let's click on this allow and continue and this is going to show me all the themes that i can activate now there are paid themes and there are free themes as well if you are serious about this website and you are making some money out of this website i would strongly recommend you buy a pro theme because it is very beautifully crafted it is going to make your website look really professional but for this tutorial i'm going to use a free theme so let's click on view themes let's click on get it now and after you enter your email address first name last name and download now it's going to send this theme to your email okay so uh, once you do this you are going to get the theme i have already got mine so i'll go back to themes and i'll go to appearance and then themes and then add new theme 
and then I'm going to upload theme and then click on the choose theme button and choose this theme. So I have chosen this file and now I'll click install. Now this is the file which I received in my email for free after giving my name, email and all those details. Let's activate this theme by clicking activate. And once you activate this theme, you should see your website totally changed. Yes, that's correct. Once you reload your website, it's going to look like this. Amazing. This is looking really great. You can always change all these things. You can go ahead and start adding more trips. You can click on view all tours. You can even change the footer. Now it's up to you and it's up to how you want to customize this. You can change all these details. You can uh, start editing your pages. You can start editing what you accept and the copyright message, etc. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to add some more trips. So let's do one thing. Let's go to the plugin WP travel engine and let's start creating a trip once again. So I'll click on create a trip, create a trip and let's call it Russia trip. Okay. And let's add a package, Russia package. And for adult, let me charge $1,000 per person, save and close. And uh, now let's publish it as is. You can add more details, obviously, if you want to. Now, if I reload my website, I'm going to see this strip here. You can always add the image and I strongly advise you to add an image because it is going to make your website look professional. But as you can see that this is the tour itinerary. If you go to San Francisco trip, I have added the itinerary. So day one, what you are doing, day two, what you are doing, cost includes what, cost excludes what, the map is visible. This is the map that we um, added by using the iframe code. Frequently asked questions are here. Now you can always go and edit this. And I'll show you how to edit this. If you go to your WordPress dashboard, you can go to trips and you can start editing all these trips. So if you go to edit the San Francisco trip, you can always change all these parameters. So if you realize that there was something that you missed while creating a trip, you can always go back to the trip page and you can always change that. For example, I want to add the tour itinerary properly which I did not add it previously. So day one, we are going to go to Google office. Let us say Google office. We will visit Google office and then let's add another day to itinerary. Facebook office. We will visit the FB office and meet Mark. Okay. Let's save and continue. Let's update. And if I refresh this, you'll see that the tour itinerary is here. So day one is Google office, day two is Facebook office, and you can add, you can add even more. And then you can always accept this form content into your email. All right. So let us say that you want to book this Russia trip. So let's click on this Russia trip. And I'm going to simply check availability and let's continue and let's add this to the cart and let's proceed to checkout. I'll say Harry and then I'll say Harry at code with Harry.com and then I'll fill in my details and I'll simply choose book now pay later and I'll click book now and I will be getting the booking here as you can see that uh, my booking has been confirmed. Please check your email for confirmation and the admin can see the bookings here in the booking section. So all you need to do is click on WP travel engine and click on bookings and you'll see that somebody has booked this and you can go and accept the payment and you'll see all the details. Okay. So you can maybe call them. You can ask for their number. Uh, you can give them a call and you can say that, Hey, you booked a trip should we confirm this this that other okay so this is how you do it you can send them an email and uh, that that's how it works basically now this website gives me this message that this theme recommends the following plugins so it's always recommended to install these plugins and now we can uh, install all these plugins so i'll say uh, install i'll select all the plugins and i'll install the plugins and all the plugins will be installed and then 
activated so let's wait for it it's installing the plugins one by one i'm waiting for the plugin installation to finish and yes it has finished so all the plugins have been installed if you go to your plugin section you will see all these plugins uninstalled so all these plugins are installed let's activate them as well yeah we have activated the plugin so we'll go to plugins and we'll activate the Everest forms as well now if you scroll down after clicking on WP Travel Engine, you'll see extend WP Travel Engine features with add-ons to provide amazing experiences to your guests and sell more with less, uh, less efforts. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on login and I will log in into my uh, account. And as you can see that I have logged into my account and I can always activate this. So I've purchased this pro plugin. Now I'll go to plugins, click on add new plugin and upload plugin and i'll upload this plugin that i've downloaded and i'll click on install now and as you can see that this plugin is activated uh, once i click on activate plugin and it says that please activate plugin license click here to enter your license key and i'm going to activate this plugin by entering my license key so i have my license key i'll enter the theme license key here i'll go to my account and i'll copy the license key this is my theme license key I'll enter it here and I'll click on save changes and this should activate my plugin. As you can see that it says sweet your license is active and I have this license active. So now I can use all the pro features of this plugin and I'll click on begin installing plugins uh, because these are all the recommended plugins that um, this recommends. So let's click on apply and I want to actually install all these plugins so i'll have to select install and apply and as you can see that it is installing all the plugins for me as you can see all these plugins have successfully installed and i can now come back to my wp travel engine now once i went premium i can always go and use all these add-ons and uh, for instance the trip fixed starting dates this extension allows travel agencies and tour operators to show trip fixed starting dates and number of space visits for the booking so you can uh, select all your add-ons the add-ons that you want to activate on your website and you can go ahead and activate them and uh, you can always go and buy all these add-ons so uh, this is how you can simply download this add-on i have already downloaded this add-on and i can now simply go back and I'll show you how to activate this add-on. Now all you need to do is go to the plugin section, add new plugin, upload plugin, and I'm going to upload this plugin. And I'm going to install this plugin. And then in order to activate this plugin, I'll click on activate. And this plugin has been activated. Now if you go to WP Travel Engine and you click on plugin license, let me refresh this page. Now, since we don't have any premium extensions, it says premium extensions not found. If you have any premium extension, you will have to activate the license by entering the license keys here and you can get the license key after you purchase the premium plugins. So you'll get all the features unlocked if you buy the um, plugin, if you upgrade to pro. I hope that this video was helpful. So I strongly recommend you go and try some of these plugins yourself uh, so that you can create an awesome website and make sure you at least create one travel website after watching this video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.